Education is, is uh, you know, nothing like God, nothing like Allah, you know. If you hold that belief, that is a Muslim belief. That is the Muslim concept of God. Um, in order for somebody to become a Muslim, like I've been a Muslim 14 years, I took the Shahadi. How do you know that? <laughs> you know, you've done a lot of research already. Yeah. So, so I mean, yeah, I mean, if some, when somebody believes, all it requires is to say the Shahada. You know, the Shahada is, is declared there's nothing worthy of worship except Allah. It's acknowledging that you don't worship. Jesus or Muhammad or God or football stars or whatever it is, yeah. you you worship God alone. He's the most important thing. You know, God is the most important thing to you, and you obey God and you worship God, and you acknowledge that Muhammad is the final messenger. If somebody believes that, then they're Muslim. It requires, but it requires saying it. You know, so the Shahada is the first step to becoming a Muslim, and then once somebody becomes a Muslim. Then they start to learn the basics of Islam, yeah. learning how to pray, learning how to fast. It's nearly Ramadan, by the way. Yeah. It's Ramadan in a few weeks. I'm sure you'll yeah. be trying that. Yeah. Um, and and um, you know, learning the basics. So, I mean, why don't you accept Islam? Yeah, no, 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 honestly, think about it, to be honest. Yeah. I, I haven't got any. Like, like, I work with some people in. Uh, you know, some of them are Christian and, you know, yeah. and stuff. But, you know, I just, I find it, um, I don't know, I don't know why. You, you just know it's a true place. For me, when yeah, I started yeah. reading the Quran, yeah. it was like, it's just true. I just realized that this yeah. is, it's a trustworthy book. Um, it's something that's preserved where I didn't have that belief in the Bible. Were you religious before you got I went to church. Yeah, I, I never believed Jesus was God though. Yeah, it's just I had a problem with that from day yeah. from being a young young seven years old. It doesn't make sense. God's God, doesn't it? I always prayed to God. I never prayed to Jesus. I said God I'm praying to you, not Jesus. Like, yeah. I think a lot of people do, I I actually believe a lot of Christians do pray to God alone. I think a lot of people in general believe there's only one, isn't there? One yeah. Yeah. You can't have more than one of the main thing yeah. you know what I mean. So, no, sorry, what's your name again? Matthew. Matthew, okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm John. I'm so John. I just need Matt and Luke now. Yeah. <laughs> that was it. So, I mean, Matthew, why don't you accept Islam today? You can say the Shahada with me. You know, take the first step. You can, I can, I can help you say it in English and Arabic. Have a camera show us, right? You don't have to be. You don't have to be on camera. Forget the camera. You're not on camera, by the way. You're not, you're not there. You're not on camera. But the main, I don't care about the camera, bro. It's not. It's, it's, it's about you, really. About if you believe it, and you know, as I said, it's literally just saying there's nothing worthy worship, worship except Allah, and Muhammad is the final messenger, and that's it. That brings you into the fold of Islam, and that starts your your kind of journey, you know, towards. Um, I just think there's some things you need to like change, you know, before. Do you know what I mean? Look, listen. Let me tell you. I I I had the same thing. I was I used to drink. I had a girlfriend. Yeah. I'm doing this, I'm doing that. And yeah, look, no, you think I don't need to change? I've been a Muslim 14 years. Yeah. I'm not like a, I'm not an angel. I'm not like a perfect yeah, yeah, yeah. human being. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's the, the thing, when, once you accept Islam, then you start to work on these things. And it might take you a week, it might take you a year, it might take you 10 yeah. years. And it, it's a lifelong thing of learning and coming closer to God, understanding and learning more about Allah. And, and worshiping Allah and becoming better in yourself. It's like a, a purification of yourself and and you just become purified in your actions as well, you know. But it's not something that happens overnight. It's not like, okay, you know, okay, like at the time I was a jazz singer, right? Singing in casinos and, you know, whatever. It's like, it, it's not something where you just click and all of a sudden I'm like a, a practicing Muslim and, you know. So, yeah. No, I, I, I do, I find it like, interesting because like, the big difference I see with like, Islam and Islam is not a religion. It's like, you know, the main two it is, it's like, like most Muslims are, they're all very like, you know, passionate and like, they stand up what they believe in, you know? Yeah. But if you say it about another religion, you say, oh, I'm really defended today, or do you know what I mean? But you yeah. see people very like, um, you know, yeah. love, like, what's the word? Yeah. Very, uh, respect for you know? I, think don't, the, 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 I don't see that with other religions. You know? yeah, I think the thing with Islam is, people actually believe it. There's no doubt about it. You know, like when, when people become Muslim, or were they born into Islam, 
they fully believe it. Whereas I think within Christianity, I think people have always got that doubt in the back of their mind. And it, it, there's always something that's not making sense. It's like, you know, the Jesus Christ, it doesn't make sense. So it's, and, and not only that, what do you submit to? Yeah. You know, as a Christian, they don't have a, a moral code. They don't have details on, like for us, it's very clear. No alcohol, no gambling, you know. Uh, five pillars. We've got the five pillars, but we've got, you know, guidance on what, how to live our life and how not to live our life. On all aspects of our life, without how to be a father, how to be a mother, how to be a son, how to be the correct daughter, you know, how to be a, a, a tradesman. It, 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 there's so much guidance within the Quran and the Sunnah, the, 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 the sayings and actions of, of Prophet Muhammad. Is there another book? Because I got, I bought the Quran, but is there yeah. another book called the Hadith? Is it also yeah, so the Hadith are basically, is book, yeah, they're the, there's many of them, but the, there's the biggest, uh, the most famous collection would be Sahih Bukhari. And this is like a collection of the sayings and the actions of Prophet Muhammad. So you have the Quran, which is a revelation given to Muhammad. This is the word of God. Whereas the Hadith is like the speech and the actions of Muhammad. This is the type of revelation that was given to him, inspired to him. So anything he said or did was a part of revelation. But it's not the Quran, if that makes sense. So, you know, the, 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 the way the Prophet Muhammad interacted with people is all recorded. So we have so much kind of, and he is the best example. He, we believe Muhammad, peace upon him, is the best example to humanity. Like he was the best example a human could possibly be. And we have that recorded on how to live like him. You know, how to, uh, you know, perfect our... It makes our, more sense as well because you know. it's like, if you like, you know, be peaceful, you know, like, you think, the concept of like, you know, sacrifice for someone. It's, do you know what I mean? It's yeah, like, exactly. It's really nice, it? it's sort of, yeah. I mean, for us, we do believe in Jesus. Yeah, right? prophet, he, he's prophet. a prophet, he's a human being, he's a prophet. He, he didn't, he didn't, uh, he wasn't crucified, we don't believe he died for our sins, we don't believe he's the son of God, but we do believe, we do believe in Jesus though, we do believe in, in fact you can't be a Muslim unless you believe in Jesus, you can't deny him as a prophet, so yeah, I mean, you know, as I said, for you, you have, if you have the belief, you believe in Allah, in the con Muslim concept of God, you believe in Muhammad, the first step is just harder, so I mean, you know, I mean, I can help you. I mean, in, we actually say it in Arabic, and we also say it in English, so you actually understand what you're saying. But in, in Arabic, we say "Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah," "Ashhadu anna Muhammadur Rasulullah," and, and that means I bear witness there's nothing worthy of worship except Allah, and I bear witness that Muhammad is the final messenger. So I mean, if you like, you can, I can I can help you pronounce it, but we can do it slowly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I mean, would you like to do it now? We go through it. I don't yeah. know why, I've been nervous that. I just think some things I do, you know, aren't with me, you know, against, you know, the problems, you know, Islam. Um, yeah. No, look, look. You look at the Muslims around, none of us are perfect. Yeah. I've been Muslim 14 years. I guarantee you these yeah. things I do yeah. <laughs> that are not correct, you yeah. know. But, just repent, you see. but the way I am now, 14 years on, to the way I was when I first accepted Islam, yeah. is a massive difference. If you knew me when I first came to Islam, you'd think, who's this terror away, you know? But that's what Islam does. It, it purifies your actions, it purifies your beliefs, you know, and, and guides you. This is something that we need in, in, this, in this day and age. We need this spiritual and moral guidance, you know, where laws are changing, rules are changing, people don't even know what's right and wrong anymore. Yeah, that's another thing I think, a big thing about Islam principles I quite like is, it's, it's, it's strict but in a good way and like some yeah. things you see now which is just like crazy in it but at least in the world but now it's like you know like man and woman have got the gender roles and everything you know, you changing know, you know by the way this is one of the beautiful things about Islam by the way the, the roles of man and women is very clearly set out and, and by the way men and women are spiritual equal in the sight of God the woman can get the highest level of paradise, yeah. the man can get the highest level of paradise. But there's different jobs, if that makes sense. And, and this is why Islam gives the, the, the uh, responsibility of the man to provide and protect and take care of the family. The woman has to protect the inside of the house and the children, raise the children, take care of the business in the house. By the same time, we're, we're both equally spiritual. They don't have this uh, propaganda about when men and women are not equal in Islam. Oh, no, 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 we're equal in the media. sense of spiritually yeah. equal. We can get the same reward in paradise, but we have different ways to get to yeah. that reward. 
So the, the first thing we say, we will say if you like, you can say it in English first, so then you know what we're saying. So you say, uh, I bear witness. You, do you want to? You say, I bear witness. <laughs> sorry, what's you? Yeah. Sorry. No, I, yeah, I do it. I, I see any sort of. Uh, like, like I said, I went to uh, London Central Mosque last Sunday. Uh, an introduction. Yeah. And yeah, it's just like very appealing, you know. And if, yeah. if you think it's nice to have faith, you know. Sort of yeah. So the thing, the thing with Islam. It's not just nice, like it makes sense, like the, it's the only religion with this concept of God, which is pure, you can't imagine God, he's beyond our comprehension, he's, he's one, he's self-sustaining, he's not required to, he's not needing any of anything, you know, he's not a man, he's, you know, this type of thing, so it, as I said, it, this is the only religion that teaches it, and it's the only religion with the guidance on how to live it. And, you know, and it's it's changed my life. I mean, I mean, I wasn't necessarily looking for a religion personally, but when I started to read the Quran, started to look at the guidance, I was convinced that this is the truth. The concept of God for me was well, this is what I already believed. The pure one, you know, concept of one God. So yeah, I mean, if you if you like, we can, you can, you can I can help you, and we can we can say we can say the English and then the Arabic, and I'll help you. Would you like to accept this one? Yeah. Okay. So the first thing we say is, uh, I bear witness. I bear witness. There's nothing worthy of worship except Allah. And I bear witness that Muhammad is the final messenger. And I bear witness that Muhammad is the final messenger. And in Arabic is Ashadu. Ashadu. And, and La ilaha. La ilaha. Il Allah. Il Allah. Wa. Wa. Ashadu. Ashadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Rasulullah. 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 That's it. <laughs> you know, it's a, it's a, it, listen, it's as simple as that. It, when someone accepts Islam, a peace comes on the person. Uh, we believe that at that point when somebody accepts Islam, all the previous sins are wiped away and all the sins are turned into good deeds. And it's like literally starting fresh. It's like it's a new start from now. So after saying that now, that means after saying that you are a Muslim. And and not only a Muslim, but a very clean, fresh Muslim. Yes. You're, you're just it's a new beginning. It's a fresh start. It doesn't matter what you've done in your past. It doesn't matter what you've done. This is all put behind. This is this is a fresh start. And when I first converted. I had this feeling of uh, light, I felt light, I felt like uh, a peace, I don't know if how you feel or what you think. But yeah, no, but like I said, we researched it for months, yeah. and then eventually went to the mosque. I think, I think there might be a bit of relief in there as well, it sounds like you've been researching for a while. I wasn't sure if you had to, if I had to go back to that specific mask or to, you know, to take it, but because I was watching a lot of videos of speakers calling me, you know, yeah. and I never ended up coming in, in, but then I did finally find it this time. So you were considering going back to the mosque to take Shahada, you were thinking about that? Yeah, because yeah. the guy, because when the guy, um, one of the gentlemen there who was teaching uh, Islam and stuff, he was saying, no, 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 sorry, one of the guys who went on the induction day, yeah. He 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 been to uh, he been going to the mosque before before that and he took the shower okay. and he said you know, yeah so yeah it's, yeah wow. how old are you by the way twenty seven okay I was twenty three yeah when I became Muslim yeah so it's a good it's a good good time to start and it's I'm telling you it's the best thing you've ever done and at the moment you're new. Yeah, and and you got a lot to learn, but let me tell you, it's easy. Yeah. Don't don't think it's difficult. It's easy. Look, it, it takes time. It's gonna have you're gonna have a bit of difficulty here and there, a few challenges here and there, like anything. Oh, I know that. Yeah, that's just. But I'm telling you, this is a life changer. 
Yeah. It really is. Yeah. You know. Are you, are you all Muslim? Are you all Muslim? Yeah, it's Muslim, yeah. Uh, it's Muslims, uh, it's loads of Muslims. There's a lot of Muslims here. In fact, mo I'd say the majority of Hyde Park is Muslim. <laughs> yeah, it's so tender. There's a lot of Muslims come here because we believe it's true. So we want to share it. And so all these brothers here, they're trying to share it with people. And another thing I see here, I might be biased because yeah. of, of, you know, of what I've taken the shower, but even before that, it's a big difference I noticed. They're not being shallow or anything, but yeah. when I see it, it's, it's all like normal, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but sometimes when I see some other races, like, you know, yeah. they're like shouting, screaming, and I don't know. We have, our, we have our loud ones as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I've seen it on Speaker's Corner. I've seen... Yeah, you know, yeah we do have a few loud ones. Someone when, like, you know... Like, yeah. I mean, I don't have my phone on me, but if you want, I can give you my WhatsApp number. Yeah. And if you need anything, yeah. we can be in touch. I don't actually live in London. I live in Turkey at the moment. You're in Turkey? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. So, uh, but, but I do know some brothers who live in London. And if you want to meet, I know some, know some brothers in, not Swansea, but I know some brothers in Cardiff. Yeah. Um, and uh, you know, uh, I can link you up with some some brothers. It's nearly Ramadan, so you, I'm sure you'll get invited to loads of uh, food. You know, I, uh, and uh, so I mean, I can, would you like to take my my phone number? I'll type it. I don't want I don't want to give other people. That's all right. Yeah, and it's uh, John Fontaine, uh, J O H N, space F O N T A I N, T A I N, T A I N. Yeah, and it is, yeah, Fontaine. So you know, you can send me a WhatsApp. I don't have my phone right now, but tomorrow I'll have my phone. You can send me a WhatsApp. We can be in touch. Yeah. And, and look, as I said, look, it takes time to learn everything. Don't pressure yeah. yourself. Take your time. Um, the main thing is now just learning the basics of Islam, learning how to pray. Yeah, how do you know? Because uh, yeah. when I went to uh, London Central Mosque on the induction day, yeah. um, the guy said, oh, you're coming. So like a lot of um, like, the thing, people interested in the religion. So we sat in the mosque. Yeah. And then, uh, on the prayers. Yeah. And then I was saying something like, yeah, so we, we, we put our hands here to start. Say Allah yeah. Akbar. Yeah. yeah, and then so we, when we, in the first part of the prayer, we put our hands like this, then we recite a chapter of the Quran, the first chapter, which is the, the chapter one of the Quran, it's seven verses. And then we recite another chapter, maybe a small chapter. And then we do Rukhu, which is bending. And then we come back up, and then we do sujood, where we put our head on the floor. Then we sit down, we do sujood again, then we stand up, and we do another round. That's, that, that is two units of prayer. Now, different prayers have different amount of units. So, it sounds all confusing, but, but it's a mixture of reciting Quran, worshipping Allah, thanking Allah, obeying Allah, and also seeking and asking Allah for, for things, you know, whether it's help, support, um, forgiveness, uh, praising Allah for, for who He is and what, what he, the things He's done. Uh, also reciting the Quran because it's, you know, it's a mixture of a lot of things. It's not just prayer, like from the Christian sense. It's, it's a lot of things. And the, the first chapter is, is a mixture of that as well, the first chapter of the Quran. And, um, but if you send me a WhatsApp message, I have some small booklets that I can send you by PDF yeah. and I've got one that teaches the prayer and in the Arabic, when it says in Arabic, it's written in transliteration, which is like English letters. So when you, you know, it, 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 it's written in English letters, but if you say it, it's, it's Arabic. Yeah. So that will help you in the beginning and then you can, you know, learn how to pray. And, and the best thing is, if you have any Muslim friends or I know Muslims in London and I work yeah. with some, but no, like as, as personal. Yeah. I think the best thing to do would, would be to go back to the mosque yeah. where you've been, because you're familiar with the mosque, they'll, they'll probably remember you. Yeah. And, and they, they usually have, uh, there's also a brother here, he have like new Muslim classes. We, we was giving it this morning actually, at 10 o'clock in the it's Al Muntada. They have some new Muslim classes there, we, we're helping the new Muslims. 
I mean, you're welcome to attend that as well. They teach the prayer. But at the end of the day, Islam is what you make it. You know, you, you can't expect to not put any effort in and not feel the, the rewards and, and the benefit. You know, it, it takes time as well. How are you feeling? Yeah, it's good. I think it, I think it's good to finally do it because yeah. I've been recent on it. It's been six months probably. And then, Subhanallah, six months. Yeah, and then the last, the last few months, then more and more, more. Yeah. And then, yeah, I, like I said, I went to the mosque and got myself a nice... You know, you know the nice big one, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> it's quite nice. Yeah, I've been reading that, haven't I? I don't know, probably 20 pages or something every day or we'll try to nearly every day. Just, the main thing is to understand it. Yeah. Don't read 20 pages and not understand yeah. it. Yeah, know. of course. If yeah, you yeah, take 10 or 5 pages, yeah. just comprehend it, understand what... And the other thing is as well, the Quran is not like any other book. It can... It, it, some, you got to realise that the Quran was revealed over 23 years, piece by piece. It didn't just come down in one go. So, it's like clumps of verses came together. So sometimes you'll be reading, and then it'll change subject, or change story. And you think, it's not like other books, you see. So, again, you know, uh, watching videos on YouTube, uh, reading books, understanding the Quran, what all they're saying is, all this is going to benefit you. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's, it's amazing. I'm happy to uh, speak to you. And, uh, yeah, 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 me too. It's, uh, yeah. it's good, yeah. Yeah, I suppose it is, yeah. It's a show, it is, yeah. <laughs> Can I introduce you to a couple of converts? There's loads of converts here, you know. There's, yeah, there's, um, there's loads of new Muslims and converts here. And um, it's just nice for you to meet a couple, you know, just before you go. And just to see, like, there's so many brothers who... Let me introduce you to Brother Ben. Come on. He's not on camera, he's got some problems, yeah, you, you can't win. We've got Hamza here as well, he's uh, been a Muslim like 20 yeah, years or something. Yeah. There's, um, there's loads of, there's loads of uh, yeah. good things, but, but yeah, um, I mean, as you say, it's just... Uh, just take your time. Yeah. It's, a, it's a journey, bro. It's, it's not yeah. something. It, it's, it's now. It's, it's, it's a way of life. You know, for, for the rest of your life. You're gonna...